Karens are known but for their honestly, public freakouts, though, and boy, do they Karen deliver. Look like they can be seen going off on anyone, gadget. from store clerks to restaurant staff, and even complete strangers. From screaming at the top of their lungs to pointing their fingers aggressively, these Karens know just how to make an entrance. So the next time you encounter a Karen in public, think twice before you startle her. She might just have something up her sleeve. On September 30th of 2023, in Ocala, Florida, a dumb Karen dialed up the local police with a wild tale of assault. She accused her neighbor's kids, who frequently turn her house into their personal playground, of swiping her Nintendo DS. But honestly though, doesn't Karen look like she's outgrown that gadget? I'm friends with her. Her kids come up here all the time. Okay. They asked about my son's um, vintage collections of DS okay. games. And I said, no, you can't play with those. My son doesn't the want kids, to. The kids do? Yeah. Okay. So um, they left. I noticed they were gone. So I called her and I said, hey, Six, one, Naya, three, nine, seven. my son's missing. You didn't see him take it, but they're, that they are missing. Okay. They are missing. So, you know, because we're friends, tried to talk to her about it. She's like, oh, no, no, my kids didn't talk. She was up here. It's like, she all of a sudden grabbed my hair and starts saying, you son. Karen insists that her neighbor turned her into a human punching bag for no good reason. The cop, without wasting any time, starts grilling the woman accused of giving Karen a knuckle sandwich. The alleged assailant shrugs and says, hey, we're just neighbors, not BFFs. I go upstairs, I clean up because my kids had her cat toys everywhere. I said, Susan, where were they? They were everywhere. Okay, so I'm not gonna search your privacy, which is your room. I'm not gonna search there, I'm not gonna go in there. Maybe her son put the games up before, you know, he went, he left. So, I cleaned up her living room, make sure all her cat toys looked up underneath the thing, looked up underneath the couch. I said, Susan, I don't see them anywhere. My son has clothes on where they can't stuff anything. My kids are not thieves. They don't steal from our neighbors, our friends, or whoever. So, Susan said, I said, Susan, back up. She's like, very close in my personal area. So, I'm like, back up, Susan, back up. I didn't mush her or anything. I took her by her waist and I said, back up, Susan. So, she's like, F you, F your kids, F this, F that. So that's when I was like, all right, Susan, I don't have nothing else to do with you because you're a flip floppy ass. My kids are not allowed in your house. So she started getting in my face again. And I backed up. So when I went to go touch her that last time to back her up, she clocked me in the head. So I beat her ass. And so I beat her ass. And so I beat her ass. And so I beat her ass. Karen and the mom were telling such different stories that the cops felt like they were listening to two entirely separate movie scripts. So they decided to call in the witnesses for a little he said, she said detective game to figure out what really happened. Okay, so you watched it all from the window. And when you, you heard screaming, you looked over, you saw the white female standing at the top of the stairs and the black female like kind of on the stairs. And you saw the white female push the black female and the black female. Then hit, she did, then hit her, punched her, what she did? Push, punch. I just seen her like go like that. I'm not sure if she pushed her or hit her at the same time. Naturally, this dumb Karen tries to brush off the mom's injuries, even though the poor woman was practically leaking from her face. While both ladies agreed there was some good old-fashioned brawling going on, their stories were as mismatched as socks from your dryer. However, as the investigation chugs along, the cop's hunch about who started this whole mess gets a big old thumbs up. My son's vintage DS is missing and they were the only ones in and out and this, that and the third. And I said... The only two houses they were in is Miss Yvette's and yours. They do not, they did not take anything because my house was locked. When I'm over here, I lock my door and we're over there. That's it. I checked Miss Yvette's house. It's not there. I checked her house and I cleaned up her house. It's not there. Maybe her son has it and she's freaking out because she don't know. But I told her, I said, calm down. Let's wait till your son get home. That's what no. you said? I said, calm down. What did he say? He said, that's what I told her. Yeah, I said, calm down. 
Let's not freak out. No, I'm freaking out because they took it. They stole it. Where can they hide a DS? I checked my son's pockets. Yeah. His pants is falling off. You can't see nothing. There's nothing on him. Nothing. Yeah, I, I, I had him. I had one, so I know what they are. I checked it. They're not there. They're nowhere to be found. The police managed to gather matching stories from various witnesses, all of whom agreed that the stupid Karen was the one who threw the first punch. This officially crowned her as the neighborhood idiot. Meanwhile, the mom enthusiastically declared she wanted to press charges, and if she didn't, you wouldn't be watching this video, because I would have had it scrubbed from the internet. Do you have anything else you want to tell me about what happened? Nope. No? Alright. What do you mean nothing's gonna get done? Yeah. What do you mean nothing's gonna get done? I'm over here now, right? So, we gotta, we gotta go through and take pictures of everybody and talk to everybody. No. And 1900 block, right. the actual DS. So you have multiple? Because that's a DS. Okay, right now. Yes, he had multiple, and they asked about that the last time they visited. Are you 100% sure that your son doesn't have that? I am 100% sure. Can you put on speaker for me? Which one are you talking about? Which ones did you have? You had the blue one, which ones did you have? You had the blue one that said the hack strikes back. And what else? Um, so, DJ, this is Officer Mercer with the Ocala Police Department. How are you, sir? I'm doing good. Good. How old are you? I am 22. Okay, just clarify, I'm not talking to a juvenile. Um, you had a, a dark blue DS, a classic, and then a, a, a lighter blue, bigger one? And then a red one. Yeah, it was a 3DS, and then it was a regular uh, DS. DS light. Okay, yeah. and uh, was there a third one? Yeah, but I have that one somewhere else in my who knew she wasn't just a dumb Karen, but an extremely lazy one at that? Instead of simply calling her son to ask if he had the so-called missing Nintendo DS, she chose to jump to conclusions, point fingers, and put on quite the show. But now there's a certain karma that these Karens have to face, and being the neighborhood idiot doesn't excuse this dumb Karen from her fate. So at this time you're gonna go to jail, okay? I am? Yes, you are. Oh, can I call my son? I'll call him. Why am I going to jail? All the witnesses said that you were the primary aggressor. You Why falsely accused her. There? You chewed out her kids. And then everyone said you swung first and she's bleeding from the face. She came up Close here. The cat's got to run out. Yeah, I got it. Have uh, you been drinking? No. Yeah, I smell no. alcohol all over you. earlier, but I get beat up. I get beat up. I have nothing. I am a diabetic. Okay. And I have to take my medication. Yeah, they have, they have a whole medical medicine. staff at the hospital for insulin oh, yeah, and all I've that. Been there. They take really care of me. Okay, then you know. One of the funniest parts of this whole fiasco is Karen thinking a 20 year old gaming console qualifies as vintage. My PlayStation 3 is 18 years old, and I forgot that I even had a PlayStation 3 until watching this dumb Karen, because I now have a PlayStation 5. Anyways, Karen's knowledge of old things that appreciate in value is not nearly as hilarious as her epic lapse in judgment. Picking a fight over it? Seriously? That's downright absurd. Unsurprisingly, Karen ended up with a battery charge. Picture this, it's March 21st of 2024, and the day is anything but ordinary. A dumb Karen driver goes on a wild joyride, leaving a trail of fender benders and chaos in her wake. The cops finally manage to corner her, only to discover she's snoozing away like it's Sunday afternoon. Yes, you heard that right, she slept through the entire high-speed chase she started. Here's how things played out with this incredibly stupid Karen. Open the door! I have an ass. I have an When the cop pulled over the car, he walked up and couldn't believe his eyes. There was a dumb Karen snoozing behind the wheel. This fool was blissfully oblivious to the traffic mayhem her car had just unleashed.
Without wasting a second, the officer yanked Karen out of the car and slapped on the cuffs faster than you can say bad decisions. Off she went to the station for a little Q&A session to figure out what on earth made her think catching up on her sleep while driving the wrong way on the freeway was a good idea. Watch yourself behind, watch yourself behind. Come on, come on. Hold on. He was fine until she said you got in. Put it in park, put it in park. It's in park, it's in park. Ma'am, you gotta step out. You gotta step out, alright? Come on, ma'am. Ma'am, you gotta step out. You were fine. You gotta come out with me. You gotta come out with me, okay? Come on out. Stand up. Stand up. I told him to pull over. I got one today. There's a big bracelet or something right on her wrist. Yeah. Hey. All right. What's that? We just had her on a burglary. Oh, you know her? Yeah. Okay. Michaela? Michaela? What's the last name? Last name. Okay. Yep, that's her. Okay. Do you have anything on you, Michaela? Is she the owner of the car? Still a full shovel. Still a full shovel. Is that a little better? Actually, yeah. Actually, you want to yeah, hold on? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, you take it or that way, forward to me getting the touch. I mean, it's a lot. Actually, I can. I don't want to hear her. I didn't hear you, Michaela. What did you say? Oh, that's it. Yeah, that was crazy. We're getting you somewhere. It's not going to be there right now, okay? Here, let go of this. Hey, Michaela, you got to let go of this. Wherever this is. I'm just saying, I know you guys fall. I've got to go to services. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to call you out. Hey, Michaela. Hey, hey, hey. you gotta let go. Whatever you gotta let go, Michaela. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. Let go of what's in your hand, please, okay? We don't want to hurt you, so just let go of what you have so we don't want to hurt you. Okay? What's going on, Michaela? Michaela, why? Michaela, you can hear me. That's there you go. Thank you. Right. you. We'll make sure it stays safe. You can't have it. You can't have it right now. No, we're gonna, we're gonna give it to you. We'll go with you. Where's your dog? I can't find my cat. Her name's Socrates. Can you lift the head of the sofa? No, no, no. Find the answer. Ain't called. And then we'll call the dog. What's up? Unlike Bernie from Weekend at Bernie's, Karen was no longer a limp noodle. She was very much alive and kicking up a storm. She kept pestering the officer with let me go, as if it was her new catchphrase. Clearly baffled, she repeatedly demanded to know why she was being arrested, because after all, she didn't get a chance to witness her crimes, because she was taking a nap. The poor officer had his hands full trying to keep things under control while explaining that her reckless driving and the resulting accident were serious enough to warrant a one-way trip to the slammer for public safety. I'm sorry, I just got my message. I just got it. Uh, yeah, she was all over the place, so I don't know. I don't know. Do you realize what you even just did? Okay, okay. okay. You, you could have killed somebody. You could have killed somebody. If all you need is meds, I would have been happy to help you with that over a phone call. A phone call. But they told me to call me in two weeks, and they didn't call me. I just need my medicine, I'm so scared. Well, I was scared too. I know. Just keeping her preoccupied. Where she live? Okay. Two of Graham and Bailey. I, I saw one. That was all. Seventeen thirty-eight Northampton Road, apartment thirteen oh seven. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what I was doing. I didn't realize what I was doing. I'm glad nobody. I'm glad nobody's dead. Sure.
The officer had to spell it out for this dumb Karen, highlighting the mayhem and danger she unleashed on the road. Despite her bewildered protests, he popped her into the patrol car and chauffeured her to the police station for a little chat about her wild ride. I'll make sure I'm the K9 over there. We're gonna walk, okay? That's good, you can get that out. You want it in car 11? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, have a seat, though. That'd be great. We can take those things off. You're fine. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down and get your feet in. Okay, okay. Stop. I heard you guys unzipping it. Can you stop it? Hey, you're okay. You almost hurt a lot of people. A lot of people. You're okay. I was going to hit the head on. There's no. I was trying to avoid that. That's what you guys said. Stop it, Michaela. We're taking enough. I'm sorry. Are you? Are you the? Are you the sergeant? Yeah, sure. Lieutenant. Okay. Just keep the shoes. Yeah. Down at the cop shop, the officer went full Sherlock Holmes on the case. Karen had to whip out her driver's license and a bunch of other IDs. Then, the officer grilled her like she was on a game show, asking about her life story, what she'd been up to lately, and how she ended up driving like a stunt double in an action movie. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Kind of loss. Yeah. Kind of loss. Yeah. I don't know what I did. What did I do? Mr. Tennyson, what did I do? The only thing I need you to do is listen to everything I tell you to do, okay? I'm sorry. My directions are very simple. We're going to stay all nice and calm, but you have to do everything we say or you're going to get yourself in more trouble. Okay. okay. Yeah, you don't have shoes, so just walk. Okay. okay. I'll just trust walk. You. I'll trust you. I appreciate that. Okay, I'll just you. are going to trust other people. Okay. You're going to stand on this carpet. Right here. All right, let me take this off, okay? Put, uh, put your left hand on this still uh, countertop. Do not uh, remove it from that countertop. You keep it right there. Okay? okay. It's Michaela. Michaela was... Uh, Michaela, okay. Oh, God, help me. Okay. There you go. All right. There you go. Michaela, first things first, take this jacket off for me. Can you take it off for me? Sure. Oh, oh, I have, like, pain in the line. Okay. Sure. Sure. Just... Sure. <laughs> breathe. I did my butt. Breathe. breathe. Trash is right here. Just... Trash is right here. Trash is right here. Not at me, in the trash can. Face the trash can. Face the trash can. Very good. If you have to do that, I would expect you to be courteous and not do that at any of these officers. Because, again, that's going to cause you a problem. I'm going to bring the trash can over here. Stand up straight. Walk over to the carpet for me, please. Stand up straight. Walk over to the carpet for me, please. Okay, Michaela? Sure. Come on over here. I'm sorry. Walk over here. I'm going to come over here. Oh, no. Come over here. I'm going to let you lean on the trash can. Come over here for me, please. I'm going to let you lean on the trash can. You're allowed to lean. You're allowed to lean on the trash can. There you go. But again, listen to what we're telling you. Stand right here. I don't want you facing me if you have to vomit. I want you standing here and I want you facing the trash can, okay? No, we're saying just, we're saying just face the I don't need to vomit anymore. I only felt like vomiting when you oh, were like that. Then I'm going to move this. Face the windows, please. Face the windows. Remove your bracelet. Does this just slide off? Can you think I'm on drugs? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what? You think I'm on drugs so I can't look you in the eye? I don't door. know. Sorry. No, you're allowed to look at me, no. but I want you to face away. I'm now going to search you. Yeah, we're okay? going to make sure you're okay. I'm going to search okay? you. Okay. I'm not letting go. I need you to listen, McKenna. Michaela. Sorry, Michaela. During her time in the slammer, Karen acted like a drama queen and spun a web of lies about who she was. Worried she might be off her rocker rather than just plain stupid, the cop figured it was best to haul her off to the hospital for a full checkup to see what on earth was going on with her. Come this way. Me. Come towards McKenna. me. Michaela. I made a mistake. Michaela. You're Michaela, right? Please take a step toward me and face the windows. Take a step. Michael, I, I, Michael will, with I, an A, right? I will have you do it if I need Michael to. Michael with an A. Okay, I'm pulling the sheet. Tell me. Michael with an A. Here we go. Michael with an A. Do you have, are you wearing underwear or garments underneath your skirt? I'm not going under anything. I'm asking you a question. Yes, I have, I have underwear. You have underwear. I have underwear. Okay. I'm not going under anything. Yes, I have underwear. Okay. I'm asking you a question. Yes, I have underwear. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, is this, 
Is this a sweater? Are you able to remove this blue garment? Just do everything for me. I have so much anxiety and pain right now. Sure. I want to help however I, I can. I want to help however I can. Okay. Anything you want? Sure. Oops. Let's get that button undone there. Let's get this one off. We're going to remove the blue garment, okay? You still, ow, have, ow, you still have the white ow. sweater. What hurts? Ah. Tell me what hurts. Um, Tell me what hurts. What hurts is like my yeah. wrists. Your wrists? Is that from you crashing your car? It's like or did like, you do something else? These are coming off. You're, you're under arrest. You're under arrest. We're not going to keep them. You get them. Like, we're going to stop them. No, we wouldn't. Yeah, I have no need for your no, property. You'll get those back. You'll get those back. Hold so, back. Hey, Michaela, I'm going to feel your hair to make sure you don't have anything concealed in your hair. I just don't want to surprise you when you feel me messing around with your ponytail, okay? Deep breath, officers. Is that okay? Absolutely. That's a good idea. Hey. Keep facing that way. Go ahead and walk straight. Just step backwards. Step backward. You're gonna have a seat. You're gonna have a seat on this bench. Have a seat, okay? Oh, sit, 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 sit. sit. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Down to the seat. There's a bench down there. Down to the seat. There's a seat down there. Down to the seat, please. There you go. Great. There you go. Great. Great. There you go. Great. So, Mr. Kate, we need you to tell you. Hey, Lieutenant's calling me. Hey, Lieutenant. Did you want? I think it's. I think, though. That's I'm confused. That's all right. Because the law tells me otherwise. But then my head tells me. No, so you're right, officer. What is my what is my address? I'm sorry. Do you think it's for Yes, I do. But when I close my eyes, I think it's different. I'm sorry. Let me come back to reality. It's okay. It's okay. That was weird. I'm sorry. Okay. How old are you? I'm 20. 20? What's yes. your date of birth? Um. Okay. How tall are you about? I think I'm five oh. Five zero. Five foot? How much do you weigh about? I think I weigh one one seven. Okay. Perfect. What color are your I eyes? think so. I don't know. I really don't know. What color are your eyes? These are all just guesses. Um okay. my eyes they are green. They are hazel, though. They change colors sometimes. But that's what I think. Like, I've been told they're green, though. Okay. All right. Where were you born? City and state. Um, I was born in Ohio. And that's where I'm trying to get to my dad, because he lives on, um, in Portland. I'm trying to get to my dad. Where he lives? Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I couldn't get there, so I just came home, because my family is in Silver Lake. Like, my, like, family is in Silver Lake. Your uncle, you said, right? Um, yes. His name is... Well, who, so who do you want to put as your next of kin? Next your of kin? Dad? Um, I will do... That's my emergency contact. Who's that related to you? That is my blood mother. Does she live around here or no? No. Okay. Do you know her phone number offhand? Huh. Oh, used to be more back. If you don't, that's okay. I'm sorry, I don't. Okay. okay. Two. I think it's 614. After the doctor determined that Karen was in fact just extremely stupid, the cops popped her back into their ride and chauffeured her back to the station. Then they got back to playing detective, hoping to piece together the puzzle and have a little chat about her earlier shenanigans while she was in their care. Do sure you want to go about it that way? No. Oh, yeah. Got me confused. We're back to... All right, so look at me. You have to listen to what he says, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna put the. I'm gonna take one off, then we'll go behind your back, okay? Any Are you questions? Gonna listen to him. All right, just relax your hands. Are you off. gonna listen? Comply. Comply. Okay. All right. That's gonna give you a little break, okay? It hurts. What'd you say? I said, "Ooh, it hurts." Move okay. your wrist around like this. Go you behind your back. You just turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Palms together, please. Turn around. There you go. Good job. Right, you can bring that gown down if you can. Keep her decent. Mm -hmm. That's just because that's policy. It's not yeah. Right. That's, I love policy. That's cool. Okay. Policy. So All right, really it's going back on. Don't get in that cruiser. And put it up here, okay? Wouldn't. Okay. Because that is fear-based, and we don't do that anymore. Okay. We are human-based. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, because you guys can tell when I'm acting like an alien, and I can tell when you're acting like an alien. It's mm -hmm. like, can we all just act like one? 
Yeah. Like, we can't look at each other like, hello. <laughs> we have to have emotion. Okay. You have emotion. Yeah. Yeah. We all have emotion. Yeah. 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 You feel it? Yeah. 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 I mean, that actually is bad. I mean, like, just my word. It's like, 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 it's that's how it would be nice. Yeah, so I'm saying, like, uh, I would never hurt you. papers on there, too, please? Yeah. All right, ma'am. Actually, do unkind words hurt you? Yeah, let's yeah. go. All right, ma'am. We're going to walk you out here. Okay. Is it Michaela? Am I pronouncing it properly? Your name? Michaela? Michaela Rose. Okay, all right. So we're just going to go out this way to my cruiser, okay? Let's go. Don't wear those And then my stuff is in the bag. Yeah. Yep, all, all your stuff right there is going to go with you. That's cool. That's cool. I'm cool. I don't fear anything. We're cool. I feel like a human around you guys. I don't have to look at that. This is cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is very nice. Look, it's so sunny. It is. I'm about to go celebrate my holiday because I am a Catholic. Alright, right, just right over here. I feel so much better. Okay, hey. relax. No. Sorry about that. No. No. Just back up that yeah. door, it doesn't hit you. There you go. Alright, so we're gonna have a seat in here. Alright, and then I gotta buckle you up and we'll be on our way, okay? Where are we going? Summit County Jail. Okay. You're gonna do good, okay? There you go. You got this. Go ahead and get in. You got it. It's a lot well, easier. I actually will around. need help like, for real. Okay. Like, no, if, you, if you turn around and stick like, your butt turn, in first. Turn around to me. Yeah. There you yep. go. And then scoot your bottom in. Yeah. Um, that would be easier for you. See your butt right there? So your butt there. Put your leg up and your butt in. Okay. Butt here. here okay. Go. Cool. I'll help. You. Then. There we go. Okay. I appreciate the help. See, we work together now. Yeah. There, there we go. Okay. Good luck, guys. Nice. All right. Good job. Okay, right, I appreciate it. I do have to buckle you up, okay? Ooh, it hurts so bad. All right. Is it cold? What's happening? Yeah, it's a bit chilly out here. Oh, it's so cold. And I know these gowns don't oh, keep you warm. Oh, I'm not wearing clothes. Yeah, unfortunately, you got <laughs> the gowns on. I want my clothes on. and my shoes. They're right, here, right, right there. there. So, I'm just going to do this so it doesn't dig into your neck. Okay. Now, there's a little dip in the back of the seat there. If you scoot your butt up just a little bit and lean back on and just sit on your shoulders, that way you're not going to put pressure on your wrists. Okay? So, like, literally for my health, like, can I please... Please put my hands in front of my back. They have to stay behind your back. It's our policy. Okay, I can't all do it. Right. All right, but like I said, because of that, if you scoot your butt up more and just lean back on your shoulders, that would oh, give like you more. Did it for my hands? Yep. Oh, yeah. you made it to be. God, I've never been arrested. I would not. Okay. Bye. Cool. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Watch your leg, man. See you. Thank you. Bye. Right. Bye. See you soon. Ultimately, this incredibly stupid Karen was charged with reckless driving and violation of traffic rules. Even this dumb Karen's smart enough to figure that one out. A guy dials 911 for backup to retrieve his daughter from his ex, who is the epitome of a dumb Karen. Little did he know, she wasn't going down without a showdown. Although, since she's an extremely stupid Karen, he should have fully expected this. Anyways, here's how this baby mama drama played out. I don't know how long she's been drinking for, but she's been drinking. I got off of work, she was passed out on the couch. I, I had to come in through the back door and she was just passed out on the couch. We started getting into, getting into arguing because of how everything was and because she's texting me. Te uh, someone's going to talk to you next, okay? We, uh, we've been arguing for, for the past couple weeks. With some of the reports. If they brought up in the history, but um, I mean, I she's been trying to live here. We've been you know trying to you know coexist together, but it's it's not able to happen anymore. You know. Yeah. Um. I mean, like I said, uh, what what had happened today is that I got home. She was just drinking. Um, I got home. She wouldn't answer the front door, so I, like I said, I had to go to the back. She was passed on the couch. My daughter was in the was in her playpen, but um. I mean, the, the whole house was a mess, you know, it looked like she wasn't even taking care of my baby, you know? Um, she was, like I said, she was passing around the couch, and, you know, when I, when I, when I, and I, was, I was looking through her phone, right? And, you know, I saw some stuff that made me mad, you know, other guys and stuff like that, you know? But, um, you know, I confronted her about it, and I told her, hey, well, you know, what's going on? You know, who's this? And blah, blah, blah. But after that, you know, I told her, like, 
we we were trying to work things out, but now I told her, you know, I'm 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 not going to anymore. You know, you're doing this and that, you know, you know, um and doing stuff to me and and all this kind of stuff. But um but anyway she's she's just been she's just been really, really, you know, violent with me, just yelling at me ever since I found what she what I found on her phone. You know, I got I got mad to the point I I paid for the phone. And I broke the phone. So I did, I did break, we'll I did break the phone. Report on I, I paid for it, so I don't know. Uh, but um, I did break her phone because of what happened. Um, and she, I wanted to leave with my daughter, but she won't let me. And, I mean, I don't want to just take her and have her call the cops on me saying that I'm kidnapping her or something. No. I, just, I just don't feel comfortable with her drinking all day and then me leaving right now because I don't want to get into it with her any more than I already have. Yeah. So, I don't, I don't know what right now I just wanted my daughter and be able just to leave okay I will see what I could do about your daughter I don't foresee her like giving her up no, no, um, and that's what and that's what that's every time every time you guys get called that's the problem that I have you know yeah she's the mother and she you know they're gonna give you her the right right away you know like it's not even that it's who it's whoever has custody of her like whoever is holding her because we're not gonna force her you're out of the arms. Basically, so if you were holding child right now and she was asking for child back, your father, we're not going to rip the child out of your arms and give it back to her. No. You know what I mean? Um, but because she's, like, holding the baby, and that's where it gets a little oh, yeah. uh, difficult. No, for sure. I mean, you know I what I mean? Because want... we don't want to create a difficult, uh, like, a traumatic situation yeah. for the child. And, no, for sure. And, like, I don't... You know. I don't... If, I could, if I could just leave in peace, you know, I want to do that. Okay. You know... I, I, like I said, I don't feel comfortable leaving her with her, but if you guys... She's inside. She's a little code 19, though. I don't know if she'll answer the door. I'm from the river Oh, yeah? yeah. Okay, if cool. you guys are... What's her name again? Leah. Leah. So, I mean, if you guys feel comfortable, you know, leaving her with her, then I guess I have no, no yeah. choice. Yeah. You know? I, I mean, I guess we'll see what he says right now after cool. he talks to her. That's been, the, that's been the whole problem since like the first time you guys got called here yeah. like a couple of weeks back. Yeah. You know, like we've been trying to work. And really working, so. Well, folks, it sounds like chatting with a dumb Karen who's been drinking all day while texting other guys and neglecting her daughter isn't exactly a walk in the park. Let's sneak a peek at the drama unfolding inside the house between the officers and this drunk Karen. You know what I tell you? You guys have been here so I can't! I can't! I'm done with you! For real! What? <laughs> Every time you guys come, there's nothing done. Like, I'm so tired of you guys. What, what do you want me to do? You guys are my house! You want me to get up? You don't want me to be in here anymore? <laughs> Please, I'm hurt. I'm hurting you so bad. Leah, can sure you want to... <laughs> get out of my house. Please, get out. No, you... Why get do you, out. Why do you want to... Because... The father of my child... Keeps cheating on me. Uh-huh. With co-workers at his work. I can't... He goes to work every day. He makes a schedule. I can't. Okay. I Leah, can't. Leah, what, 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 how, what do you want me to do, though? I'm really gonna. Sh don't leave. Please leave. Please leave. I can't. I've been going crazy since 24. You guys have been coming. Get the f house. Get the. F Thank you, Leah. Can I talk to you? You want me to? Please. You want another please, officer? Please, please, come okay. and talk to me nicely. Please. Okay, I'll, I'll talk I'm to you. I'm hurting. Okay. Please. Okay, Leah. Look. I, You've come here a few times. Yes. I, I, please, I, I, I love you. You come here okay, a few can times. Come inside, can you come inside? Can you come inside? Yes, you can. But Let's I need you to understand me. Okay. I'll, I'll understand you. Speak, <laughs> speak to me. Vent up. Can you come inside? Please, please shut the door. I don't want. I don't want anything. I don't want anything. So. 
Diyor. Siz, biz ben çıkışlatıyorum. I'm drunk, I'm sorry. I know, it's okay. I drink a lot. It, it happens, alright? We all have our times. Diyor. I need you to listen to me, okay? I'm here to help you out. Okay? I don't feel like you can help me out. Why I don't not? feel like you I feel like you're just here to look what he did to my phone. What did he, look what he did to my phone? Why did he do this? He broke it. Right now? I can't talk to anybody. How did he break it? He slammed it on the floor. And it's yours? It's my phone. You bought it? I mean he pays for it and shit but Okay. I, I want to tell you something right now. Tell me. He's cheating on me. He goes to work every day. He makes the schedule. The he's cheating on me with works with him every single day. I can't. I can't. Yeah. I'm sorry. I really wish I could do more for you, okay, but... I yeah. really wish you could do more for me, too, I'm because I'm hurting. I wish I could... Mm -hmm. ...open my... ...in my head. Okay. I... I hate being here. I'm only here for my little daughter. She needs me. Angel works every day, nine hours a day. My daughter is the only one I know. <laughs> she needs me. <laughs> but I have a hard time being here for her. <laughs> Miss Leah, how do you spell your name again? I hate. Leah, how do you spell your name again? Please let me talk. talk I to hate me. when you. I hate when you guys come over here. I have. We've been together for nine years. Mm -hmm. Six years, he's been abusing me. Six years, I never because the cops always make worse. Okay. Did he touch you today? He has a warrant too. Okay. Where, where did he touch you at? <laughs> where, what did he do? He pushed me. Where? I just don't want him getting arrested after all he's done. He's cheating on me still. I don't want. Him. Where did he, where did he push you at? <laughs> My shoulder. Look, I need you to explain to me what happened right now, so I could. He caught me. He caught me texting somebody else. Okay. That other man makes me feel nothing like he makes me feel. He hates it. That makes me feel. That man makes me feel complete. He's another. He's in another state. Okay. Leah. I don't. I don't want to be listened. I don't. I want to make sure I'm not being listened to. <laughs> because no, I'll really be... get beat when you guys leave. I'll get really? beat. So can you talk to me about today? Can you about please you? look out the door and make sure he's not. Here? My my partner's out with him out in the front yard by the street. <laughs> Leah, I need to know what he did today physically to you. Okay. He hit me. But what today? What did he do specifically? Yes, he hits me. Every single time we get physical, he hits me. Where, where does he hit you? I, we fight back. I literally fight back. I don't care. I don't care what he says. Okay. Where does he? Where did he hit you at? On my face, everywhere. On my today head. Today he hit you in your face. No. He today didn't. he just pushed you. That's it. No, he just he just shoved me around because I was texting somebody else. Okay. But where, it doesn't it doesn't where, matter. Where, where in the house did he shove you? Right here in the living room. Right here. Where do you have injuries at? I don't have injuries. Can I see your body? I, I, did. I had injuries on my body a, a week ago. Okay. All up here, all up and down. Can I see the back? I, your back? I don't call you guys. Only him. Oh. Only he does. Can I see you? You're gonna have to call us though. You want us to help you? I don't call home. you guys because I don't want to be a. No. <laughs> Leah, I need to see your back. Can I please see your back? <clears throat> I don't have anything. I'm telling you. Turn, look at the wall. Like my so my sure. my wrist is right over right here. Make sure, okay. Your wrist what? Let me see your wrist. Mm -hmm. What about your wrist? My wrist. My whole arm was like literally broken for three weeks. So can you tell me the whole story today? So 
He caught you texting another guy. And I caught him. No, no, no. No, no, no. No. Okay, then. Please stop. Okay, tell me. I can't even breathe. Okay. What do you guys even hear? Uh, I'll let you breathe, okay? You guys literally make fun of so, you guys, you don't know what it is. Leah, if I leave you today, just, you just act like cops. Oh. But this is real shit. Uh, Leah, if I leave today, are you gonna? Yes, I. I hurt. Twenty five eight, not twenty four seven. Twenty five eight. I hurt. Okay. Constantly. Look, I really wish there was more thank, I could do, but... Thank, thank you, I really do appreciate I'm trying to help you out to see where he hit you today. That way I could do something about what's going on. I've been to the hospitals for a week. Nothing has helped me. Other than him pushing you, that that's all he did? Can I tell you something? Look what he did to my phone today. He broke my phone. It, what time? So Same I, time you guys I, were arguing? After I, you guys found out you I, guys were cheating on me? Okay. He was cheating on me. He's been cheating on me. I know. He Officer, I have not been cheating on me. Okay. Hey, Tell me one second. Please okay. believe me. I believe you. Because I'm crying so much, but please. I'm, I need somebody. I'm here to help you out. Yeah. I'm trying to help he you out. He hasn't. He okay. hasn't. Can you for the battery? Oh, this guy? No, I don't have anything. I don't okay. see anything on her. Yeah, you, you said nothing physical happened. He did admit to breaking her phone, yeah. so if she wants to pursue for the phone, we can go that route. Um, but he'll just be some instincts. It's not a standalone rest of offense. Yeah, that's it. Either way, it's just saying that. I'm trying to ask him whose phone is in all red. Oh. So she doesn't need me. Okay. Yeah, but I'll ask her so she wants to charge me. I don't want to see her. Okay. Okay. So you're going to be able to see her baby? Yeah, he'll stay here with the baby. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I have a quick question for you. For the broken phone, can you press charges? I can't press charges. I'm just saying. Is your phone, like, can you buy it? Now that Karen knows that her daughter's dad can't be charged with breaking his own phone, she's about to make a costly error in her drunken stupor. Get the child. Get the child. I thought you were Yeah! Let me get my daughter, you! Stupid! Officer, listen to me. 
Please. I want this police officer to listen to me. Go inside. I want this officer. Go inside. Please. Leah, Leah, go inside. Come on. Please. We're talking to you. Inside. Have you have listened to me before, but this officer has never been. I know he's never been. I want to. I want to believe. I want to just. Let me talk to him, please. Calm down, Leah. I'm trying to come down. Okay, I'll keep the door you, open like this, but you need I'm trying to come down, but you offer still don't listen to me. You only listen to the man, and that pisses me off. We're about to be done. Why do you guys dude? only listen to the. Why? As a woman who's been threatened by multiple men, why do you cops only listen to the. Add to me right now. The reason Why the f guys only listen to men? The reason I'm, you're under I'm arrest hurting. is because I'm hurting too. You don't know what this man has put me through. Yeah, she did. <laughs> oh, I didn't think she was. Though. I didn't know she was gonna go at you like that. It, it like grazed me. It like grazed me. Central. I want. I want fifteen or for. I want to for the battery, but. Oh, uh, the assault. I'm gonna pursue. I'll type it up. Um, yeah, cause I was inside and she's like, "Get out!" And she charged at you. And I was like, "Yeah, she oh, swung and I was able to dodge and it grazed me, but I, it's cause I didn't see it coming." I got stuck to the baby crib. My foot. I tripped over that cause once she got close, I was like, "Oh, she actually did." Oh, she actually. Oh, she. Got I thought she was running. Oh man. Like, mid, mid, like while she was running, I was like, "I don't think she's like, what is she doing?" Yeah. And she just, kept coming. It took me a lot of process cause. This is like my fifth time dealing with this, so it's like... No, it's all good. Uh, I'm gonna 15 for the assault. I'll type up the criminal complaint and everything. And then we'll just notify them. I was confused. That's why I was like, uh, do I leave? <laughs> what do I do? I don't know. Yeah, I didn't think she was... I thought she was just gonna tell me to get out. Yeah. And then I saw a punch, and I was like, oh, and it like grazed me. I thought that's all she was gonna do, just leave. And then she tried to hit me like several times. I was like, what? Is going on? She chased me down the stairs. <laughs> All right. Um, but I think we should be good. Just taking it straight to. The All right. I'll yeah. start. You, let me type this up real quick. Now that Karen has had a chance to sober up on the ride to the police station, she realizes that she was wrong and regrets her actions. Oh, you thought that I was serious, but that was a joke because, as you've seen, we're dealing with an incredibly stupid Karen. The reality is that Karen has actually managed to carry her pity party all the way to the 5th precinct. Thank you. You're welcome. Go ahead and step out for me. Can I go pee? Yeah. In there. You want to go the faster we can do this? I don't want to get embarrassed. Please, let me in the restroom. Um, we're here. You can use the restroom here. Yeah, but you I'm need to step, to step out. I'm trying to step out because cops always fuck. Please. We're the only cops here. There's no other cops. I don't if you step out, come on, the rest was inside. Guys, I've been abused, and you guys, please trust somebody else. Come on, Leo. Close. Can you close? At least shut the door. You're not going to use the restroom. My crack is showing. I don't want you to see it. You're not going to use the restroom in the car. You need to step out. Look away from me. I don't want you to see my butt crack. Nobody wants to see your butt crack, ma'am. You need to step out of the car. Just step out so you can use the restroom inside. We're already here. Come on. Can you please step out of here? I don't want to drag you out. Look away, please. I don't feel comfortable. Can you? She's not naked. She's clothed. We're looking away, okay? We're not looking. I'm embarrassed. Okay, there we go. Okay. I appreciate you. Come on, the female officers can help you inside. I don't care about what you say. I really don't. Listen to me. To release charges. Listen, okay? listen so, to so me. The quicker we get you through, the quicker I'm we get you released, and you're out of here. I understand. One hundred percent. Well, listen to yeah, me. Yeah. Okay. I Leah, get Leah, restrained. Leah, Leah, Leah. Leah. Okay. Listen to me. So, I need you to listen to me. Listen to Just me for second. a second. One second. Okay. Listen to me. I need to pee. I don't want to piss myself. Do you want to go home and see your daughter? Let me. Let Very me, badly. Let me, let me I don't want to. I don't want to piss myself. Please let me. 
Let the machine get your vital signs, and they're going to release uh, you. But you can't. I can't let you go. If you if you sit here and you keep fighting, the officers have to take you. Stop, Leah. Leah, you're going to get your vital signs. 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 If you keep, if you keep fighting, the officers have to take you all the way to the hospital and then bring you back. You're gonna do this for another two hours before you get released. You, you have know. to, you have to calm down. You'll be out of here in twenty minutes if you calm down. I need to pee, please. I don't want to be humiliated. I've already been humiliated enough. Please, let me. The female, let me. Let me. I don't care what you've been through. I'm going through the worst. And we're trying to get you out of here so you can go home. But you gotta let this do its job. You gotta sit still and calm down. Officer, what you don't understand. I know you. I know you're not a a police officer. You're just an aide. I get it. Thank you for your work. I appreciate you. We're, we're, we're trying to get you because home. Because okay? there's people like me that really need you. But I really need someone like they, you. If they need you, if they need you. If they undo the handcuffs, no, will be okay? No! Let me I have some time! You thought I was going to be chill by then? It's like, I'll hang up the phone. You're about all the time to get bitch in my house. I know. You think it's funny? This is not I, I wasn't laughing at that. We just want to get your I'm blood pressure. I'm the worst pain of my life! And you why are you holding me back? I'm not. I'm. So we, I'm can, in, so we can get you home, officer. I'm in restraints. Leah, Please look, stop holding me. Leah, My baby daddy holds me like this. I don't need to be. Leah, why, I, know I understand, right? but so, I don't need to be held like this. I'm just Please. holding your hand right here to stabilize you because you're thrashing I'm holding, around. I'm holding your hand back. Okay, cool. Because I have. Okay. He's trying to let the machine get the blood pressure, so he's trying to keep her arm in one spot. I have
Pat you down real quick and then I'm gonna let you use the restroom. Do you understand? Yes. You end up on me, force it's gonna be used. I'm letting I'll you know. Right okay. They're gonna I'll take up the I only trust females. Okay. I don't trust males. Okay, they're gonna take up the restroom. I don't trust restraint. males on me. Please, I don't trust males on me. Talk about expert level projection. Karen's pointing fingers at her boyfriend for cheating while she's busy sending flirty texts to other guys who I'm sure she's catfishing and in turn being catfished by. Then, she claims her boyfriend is abusive, but when she mistakes a cop for her boyfriend, she goes full on Rocky Balboa and throws a punch. Clearly, the real drama queen in this relationship isn't too hard to spot. As a result of her starring role in Rocky VI, Karen was charged with assault against the police officer that she took a swing at. On June 24, 2024, in the sunny town of Boynton Beach, Florida, the local police were called to a Target store because of an active shoplifting situation. When they arrived, they chatted with a Target employee who worked in loss prevention. Just then, they saw the loss prevention team trying to stop two dumb Karens, who were boldly pushing shopping carts brimming with goodies straight out of the store without bothering to pay. The police quickly approached the first Karen, who insisted she had paid for everything, but flat out refused to show her receipt and even tried to make a grand exit in the opposite direction. Spoiler alert, that plan didn't go so well for her. Right there. I paid for my stuff. Okay, so let me see your receipt. Yeah. I did it off yeah. my card. Okay. Hold so on, let please. me see your receipt. Okay, let me yeah. get my receipt. Cause y'all doing receipt. the most. Y'all doing the most. I don't. Can I get my receipt, no, sir? I'm right here. I'm gonna get my receipt. You're you don't have to nowhere. touch me. You're gonna go right there. You're okay. Go I'm gonna get. Okay. Okay. So okay. That's fine. Receipt. I'll show you my receipt. You got it over there. Why do you have to go to your card? Because I got it on my phone, sir. Okay. Then show me on your phone. Okay. Stop. Okay, that's fine. Do you have your receipt? So I, I just, I just came out. I'm not with her. Okay, do you have your receipt or no? I'm not with her, so I don't know what okay, they have listen, going on. Listen to me. The, I, two I, separate I just, things. I, just, then. I don't know what they have going on. They don't have nothing to do things. with me. Okay. That's what I'm saying. That, that's what I'm asking you. If you. I don't have, I don't know what's going stop on. Stop and listen to me. If you didn't steal, do you have a receipt? My, yes, I have my receipt. Where is but it? But I'm trying to figure out why he's running after me. I don't even, I don't even know Where what's is going your on. receipt? It's in my purse, but I'm saying, I don't even know them. Let me have your receipt then. I'll get you out of here in 10 seconds. I don't, I, I don't even know Let what you me have wrong. your receipt. Okay, give me a second. I'll give it to you. I'm like, what the Man, hell? Stop. I'm gonna give it to you, sir. Stop and give me the receipt okay. right here. Okay, can you chill out? I'm gonna give it no. to you. Due to my storage, it's full. I'm waiting for it to update. Okay. I paid with Apple Pay. Okay. So let me just see the receipt. You're good. I said I just paid, baby, with my phone. That's what I'm saying. When it, when it loads. Okay. What is she doing? Oh, Six out five. You give us traffic. Stop. Get you don't have to do that. Get down. You don't have to do that. I'm telling you, I'm going to get it for you. Stop. Stop. Get out. Get out of there. Get out of there. Stay down. Put your hands behind your back. Get out of me. Put your hands behind your back. I'm finna give it. I'm finna give it. Stop. I'm finna give it to you. Stop. Bro, y'all doing the most. Put your hands behind your back now. He, uh, you got your cuffs and drop my. I'm finna give it to you. You ain't giving no one nothing now. Damn, y'all doing the most. We're detaining one now. Bro, I'm gonna give it to you. Y'all doing too much. Keep your hands there. Bro, I'm gonna give y'all the receipt. Yeah, there's another black female, 23 for description. I'm gonna give y'all the, the receipt, other one? sir. She was over there in a brown dress. I'm gonna give you the receipt. We got the one with black pants and a burgundy sweater. Bro, I'm gonna give y'all the receipt. Shut up about the receipt. That time is You're passed. Past I asked you for it. Yeah, I was trying to give it to you. I'm, sir, you can get your knee out my back. Stop going over there. I'm going to 
give you the receipt, sir. I don't know where she, this one she started a fight with me and took off. No, I was trying to give you the receipt and you, you grabbed me. I don't know where the other one is. Do we have 18 or 19? You don't know, 65 isn't confirmed yet. I don't know the value yet. Resisting possible 31 LEO. I'm gonna give you the receipt, sir. I'm telling you, I'm gonna give you the receipt. You don't have 31 in the other one, right? Nope. I'm gonna give you the 54K9, we do not have charges for 31. I'm telling you. I'm not sure of the value of the 65 yet. Can I just sit and speak to you? Please, let me just sit up. Did we double lock these? You got me a handcuff. Sit down. If you, if you run it's again, wet. you have a lot more problems. I'm not gonna run. Yeah, no, wait. It's wet. Why? Yeah, I sent an EMS for one. She's got a scuff on her elbow. Stop moving. He's double locking him so they don't get tighter. What's up, bro? About mm -hmm. $100? Okay. And you guys want to prosecute? Right? Absolutely. You know where the other one went? Uh, she took off when she started running. So she went Which way? Right? West side. But did you know she went out? Uh, no, no, no confirmation, no. no. I'm gonna tell you, I almost hit that one when she hit right through. Okay, so when I turn to up with the LPO, it's gonna be about $800 worth of items. Okay, I'm What's the description of the other one? It's a black dress. Um, I'm gonna give black you female receipt, with a sir. black dress. Why I'm not sure which direction she went. You passed her seat. Bro. Yes, we're 10 4. I'm gonna give you the receipt. I thought I was doing too much. I'm gonna give you the receipt. Just bring her back to the car. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, just enough passes over there. I'm going to give you the receipt. 54, just west, towards, possibly towards Boynton, but not sure. You know what she was wearing? The one that ran? You know what she was wearing? She was wearing a gray uh, cardigan or sweater. And okay. then she had long black hair. And then um, a gray, gray sweater, hair. long black hair. Yeah. So the one that ran. Uh, we're past the receipt at this point, you understand that, right? So, we're walking back to the front now. My car is parked on the left side. No, the air conditioner has them though. What? <clears throat> No, I left her when I saw you fighting. I'm gonna give you the receipt, bro. Yeah, she was 10 12 over there, and then I left when she was fighting him. I wasn't fighting him. I was trying to get him the receipt, but he grabbed me. Shut up with the receipt. What you mean, shut, shut up? up. Put her in the car. Oh my God! I don't know. We'll get him. Come on. Get him from a vehicle. Oh my God! Uh, I, I don't know. We we didn't get a chance to talk to him. Hey, sorry. I gotta look at my handcuffs real quick. You're talking about with the gray, with the with the black Honda, uh, black uh, black Altima. Uh, I don't see where it is. Just from prior incidents, that's the vehicle they would be using. Most. Uh, that's the prior vehicle from prior okay. incidents. That's the niece. Is that the second one right there? I think right? that's it actually. Yeah. Hey, check the, that one right there. The that yeah. black trunk. Check that black vehicle. See if it has damage to the trunk. Oh, the Nissan? Hey, who's that at the Uh, she might. I scuffed my knuckle a little. I'm good there. So we got one detained. One detained, one outstanding. So there's only two parties involved. So. Bro, I was trying to give him the receipt. As soon as I Why'd tried to run, because so he, he tried to grab me, and I was trying to tell him to let me go. I was trying to mm -hmm. give him the receipt. Why don't you stick to that? Anything else in your pocket? 
this? No. Use the back of my hand, all right? Huh? I'm using the back oh, of my hand. Uh -huh. Close it down. Well, we got AC running. Fuck, bro. I was literally gonna give him my receipt and he grabbed me. Okay, you could have given him the receipt. That's what I was trying to do, but he grabbed me. Okay. Like I said, stay to that, okay? You stick to that one. And then you try to run, why? Because he tried to grab me. What is he grabbing me for? That's what I'm trying to figure out. What is he grabbing me for? All right, put your feet in. We got the AC running. Okay, can I, I, I don't want to feel claustrophobic because I do have a heart murmur. You're going to have to go in there. I know, I understand. I just want to catch my breath real quick. Catch your breath real I'm just gonna come over here and wipe your down and down thing okay. out. It's all on camera. We're not going to argue about it. Do you need right. medical attention? Yeah. Let's check. Hello. Hello. What's going on? What's going on? My elbow. My heart. Yeah, my heart. Just delays the whole booking process. All right. Trying to show you my receipt, sir, and you you grab me. I'm not arguing with you about what you I'm were trying either. to do. I'm not either. So why you think? It was all on body cam. Okay. 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 Did she have an ID or did you grab? Me? I don't know. Where's her purse? All right, watch out for a second. Watch your leg. Slide the key over there. I know. Watch your leg. I don't want to slam it. Hey, just stay with her. You just stay in. Stay in there. Yeah, they're in the car here, but. Huh? I'm going to back and collect that chain. It's a broken chain. I don't know if that's from the tussle or whatever, but it's a broken chain and a few sandals are right over there. Yeah, yeah that's where she started yeah. fighting. And I have her key right here in the back pocket. The, the Nissan. Did you find her purse? I didn't find a purse. I found the key. Is there... No, because so... Purse? She had a purse on her. So basically, I... So Which way did she go? So I can backtrack. I'll take, take a look. So, I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about the one that I fought with. No. There was somebody here. I don't know which direction she went. My trainee was talking with her. Get LP to figure out which way she went. Yeah. Okay. She did get that car. So what did she look like? All I remember is black female because I focused on her. Uh, he said thinks he thinks she was wearing all black. I'll, I'll try to find out. Yes. Uh, yeah, I, I don't have much. Is that, is that the LP office? No. Yeah, someone could let me in there, please. The LP office. No, that's the one I fought with. Oh, wait, no. No, no, no. I'm sorry, you're right, you're right. <coughs> Did you see which way she went after we went after the other girl? Uh, she went west side, but I, I wasn't paying attention to her. I was watching guys chase her down. Okay. Well, my trainee chased her down. <laughs> he caught her. I, I got one receipt. Um, he's working on the other one, but I saw something. Were they, were they together? Yeah. They always come in together. Yeah, they'll push into separate carts. Yeah. So the second one, she came out, and so... Mike, my trainee, spoke with the first one, mm -hmm. and then I saw the other one come out. I said, is she involved? He goes, yeah, and she starts going this way. They start separating. Mm -hmm. So I walked up to my girl. I'm like, hey, stop. She goes, I ain't with her. Starts freaking out. 
And I said, she's like, I ain't stealing nothing. I don't know what that is. I said, show me a receipt. I said, you got a receipt. I'll get you out of here right now. I got it. It's in my purse. Okay, give it to me. So she starts backing up. So I come around the car. I said, stop. Show me a receipt. I'm going to show you a receipt. And she kept backing up. Hmm. I said, stop. So that's when I grabbed her wrist. She pulled away. I grabbed her sweater. It came off. And she took off running. So I ran after her. I'm slow as hell. My trainee caught her. So we got her down, cuffed her, and that's that. Yeah, that was good work. That was, that was crazy. I've never seen anything like that in a Um, tweaked my knee a little bit, so that was fun. Yeah, we got bad reception in here. Uh, you guys are going to have to help me out. You're coming in? Here. And, uh, you got a very long Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So what color shirt is she wearing? I thought they gave me like all the ADA kids. Because this kid's done. I just sent the picture out to the group. Okay. I don't know. I'll let you know. You had to come over here to okay, do the camera for you? Okay, no. No, I just sent a picture to you guys. She doesn't look fine. She doesn't look fine. Who? Girl? Nah, she doesn't look well. Who did she hit? She hit anybody? No. Okay. That's why I said before Curry will leave. Yeah, it, it just went really fast. I know. That's why I said we're chasing. Because the last we heard was dirt the laundry. That's the last thing I heard. Detectives usually are working the, these cases. I'll give you the case. Uh, it should be Burst Shell. I've been in contact with her for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, we have four filed uh, reports. With, with, this, with these girls or just in general? With the one that we have in custody, actually, specifically. So four all four. of these here? Yes. Yeah. Let's just take pictures of this one. Okay. All right, that's good for now. Let's, um, I guess, just get the other numbers and then... I'm going to send you a link so you can send me the videos and all that good stuff. This might be the other one. More recent. No, it's good. No. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, let's just go off these for now. Yeah, that's good. Um, let me let them know so they can maybe, they might want to contact them, see if they want to come out. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Can you breathe? Tight, like one piece dress. She's here somewhere because she didn't get in that car. I can, I can idea. She's out here. She's in a one piece dress. She started to walk that way. When I was asking her for a receipt, she started walking that way. Yep. So and then what? Uh, as soon as I saw Labras in a tussle with her, I, I booked it over there and chased her. Yeah. That one hauled ass over there too. And then that's where I chased her, knocked her down over there. They went over that way? She hauled ass that way. This one was initially trying to go that way. So I don't know if they parked over there or something. Yeah. And I can go over there and scan. Well, let's, yeah, you got the follow information. If you saw her personally, oh, yeah, I know. describe her yep. height, yep. hair, clothing. I want to say she had a chest tattoo. Well, make sure you put it on the radio. Six out five two. Just an updated description on the one that's not ten twelve. She's wearing like a light brown tight, maybe thigh length dress, possibly a bonnet. Um, she looked like she may have been pregnant and. She has a chest tattoo, I believe. Yeah. Just out of 
I can make them. Oh, it's 
saw her. Sade. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, she, she identified herself as Sade. We were pulling up to say Sade. As I said in the on-screen text, Target has a knack for playing detective with shoplifters, meticulously cataloging their five-finger discounts until the day the cops nab them. So, after Karen got her all clear from the hospital, she found herself face-to-face -face with a sleuthing detective who was hot on the trail of her sticky-fingered escapades at Target. See you lying again. No, I didn't. You got nothing, no, you're good. Nothing in there, though. No. So where I'm going now? Huh? Where I'm going now? The, the our district talk about our detectives. We'll talk with them, we'll get the big work together, and then you'll go up to the jail. Karen got a VIP pass to chat with the detective in charge, who spilled the beans about Target being a hot spot for sticky fingers lately. The detective wanted to gab about these past shoplifting shenanigans with Karen, but she pulled a nope and clammed up tighter than a drum. Probably because she was finna give them the receipt, and they wouldn't let her. How you doing? You need to shut it? Detective Bristow. Obviously, with Tommy Chan's shirt's office. So, I want to talk to you about a couple of cases. Um, today is June 24th, 2024, 1730 hours. We are at PBSO District 6. And can you state your first and last name for me? My name no phone? Okay. Okay, so um, I wanted to talk to you about a couple incidents that happened previous to this day. Um, I don't know if you want to speak about them or not. Um, I don't know if you're interested in speaking about what happened today or in previous dates. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm? What you're talking about? About shoplifting. So. Um, I can Mirandize you first, um, if you want to talk to me, that's fine. I don't want to talk. What's up? I don't want to talk, I'm good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did they advise you what you're being arrested for? Okay. All right, then we won't speak. Um, I did 17.41 hours. So you know what all they charge me for? Yes. So, this is what's on the paper. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's called grand theft. That's for theft over $750. And then resist without violence because they stated that you ran from them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just those two? Say again? Just those two? Just those two. So with that said, okay, mm -hmm. have you been arrested before? Yeah, a while back. A while back? Mm -hmm. A year or more? Yeah. Yeah. Were you convicted of it? Um, I did, um... I had did like this kind of um, probation thing, mm -hmm. and I finished successfully. You finished the what? I'm sorry. The, I had finished the, the like this probation thing successfully. Okay. Yeah. So, with that said, I don't know. So this is how it generally works. You're you're charged with this. So right. so basically they. Uh, I'm getting some to put. They they like rung me up for two buggies. They run you up for two buggies? Yes. What's a buggy? Like, cause when we was coming out, mm -hmm. I was pushing out a buggy and another girl was doing so, so, but it seems to me that they charged me for both. Okay. 
if it came up to you or law enforcement charged you revolt no i don't know if they run it all up for it to be 800 and some dollars because i didn't steal 800. how much is a buggy no it's not a, it's not the buggy it's like it was the car you know the like oh the car yeah right. okay I got yeah it. yeah I understand. but i didn't have nothing 800 i didn't my the stuff that i had was not 800 and some dollars that i had in my car that's why i'm trying to figure out why i get so high i understand um i wasn't involved in the case obviously i just came in to, to yeah. transport for that but they'll look and see through the cameras and they'll look and see because you know target so if you're saying that that they didn't that they're wrong mm -hmm. target has good cameras so they can see how much exactly mm -hmm. was in your buggy right so if it's less than that 750 then they'll they'll do a correction to the court okay, okay? Mm -hmm. as you heard the transport officer tell karen She's in hot water for grand theft and playing hard to get with the cops. She had a date with the judge the next morning and got out on bond, with a court appearance penciled in for July 24th of 2024. But guess what? She stood up her court date. As a result, her bond went poof, and now there's a warrant out for her arrest. But on the bright side, they decided to drop that resisting arrest charge. Yeah, lucky Karen. But now she's under investigation for some old heists, and is supposed to pop up in court sometime in August 2024, if they can track her down. On March 11, 2024, the police were called to a credit union, where they found a dumb Karen who had conveniently passed out at the wheel. To top it off, she had an open container chilling on the hood of her car like it was enjoying the view. How thoughtful of this stupid Karen to gather all the evidence for the police and patiently wait for their arrival. So you have you been taking your medication? Why were you sleep at the wheel right here? Four four nine. Can you show me on four thirty nine. Hold on a second. So you may have to um, smell because I can't smell through the COVID, so I can't smell any alcohol if she was to How's it going? My name is Officer Hansen. So, from what I heard, you were over here sleeping? Yes. Is there a reason you were sleeping in the parking lot? I have blood blood sugar, and I, I mean, I, even, I even explained that to the, um, the bank teller. Where's your husband at right now? He is in, um... What's that? He's in his It's all can't you feel the open thing. It's alcohol in him. This is the alcoholic beverage, right? Yeah. So, I'm just going to be straight up yeah, honest with you. Right. I mean, you. It doesn't matter, so let me be honest with you right now. You are in constructive possession of this vehicle. You had an open container. You can go to jail for a DUI right at this exact minute. So, it's best to be honest with us right now so we can figure this out. I mean, uh, Because the vehicle is running, you're in the driver's seat, and you had an open container. I mean, uh, Where is your husband? Call your husband. You have... Jackson. He's in Jackson. You have extremely slurred speech. Have what? Have you been drinking, or is it your medication that has slurred speech? She normally has slurred speech. But why is your speech slurred right now? Like the first time I we we dealt with you, have you been drinking? Have you been drinking and taking medication at the same time, or is it just your medication? It's just my medication. You smell alcohol, I mean, you can let me blood. Like I, I blood. So what medication did you take? Did you do the Xanax? Because I know you was on the. the so what have you taken today? I can smell it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can smell alcohol coming. From, as you speak, I can smell alcohol coming off your breath. You can give. You can give me a, a test. I, I'm not. So you said you have blood blood sugar. Are you diabetic or anything? Yes. Do you need EMS to check you out real quick? No, I just need to get home. Well, you can't be driving like this. One way or the other, you ain't gonna be driving. Where your husband? Because you're, you're not leaving. You're not driving. This vehicle. You can go to a jail for a DUI under narcotics, and right prescription here pills. To pick you up. So either you find somebody to pick you up. Or I'm going to take you to jail, and we're going to tow your car. One other two. Well, I'm going to do what I have to do. I have a job and a responsibility to keep the public I safe. Understand. You have open alcohol in your car. So you're saying if I went and I sent this straw to FDLE, they would say it's not your DNA on it. 
Well, she, she said it was, um... She just told me it's not hers. Yeah. Oh, you, said, you told me it wasn't yours? It, no, it was mine. No, mine. you just told me it's not yours. You just told me a couple minutes ago this was not yours. It was someone else's. When I started talking to you, that's what you told me. She told me it was from last night, but she didn't drink it. So I don't know if she told you that. But yeah, no, she just said it. Oh. I'm so she sorry. She told me this was from last night and it I'm was I'm so hers. sorry. I, if I said that, I, I, I promise you. So what all medication have you took if you did not drink anything? Because I don't see. Poor poor lady. I took, uh, you yeah, have EMS 51 for a eval on blood sugar. My study checks, my... All at once? Services. All at once? You realize some of those medications you're not supposed to drive with, right? You're not supposed to operate a motor vehicle. I was just on, I, I just Did you take all that at once? Today? This morning. Is it cold? It's cold. You can't feel me like this. Still cold. No, it's the bottom that's cold, not the top. So you'll get checked out by um EMS. If they say your blood sugar is good, then I'm gonna do a DUI. Gonna check you for driving under the influence. Okay. And at that point. You gotta get control of your your. We told you that me and Officer Alfred told you that you gotta get control of your your medicine that they they give you. That you can't be mixing it. You can't go overboard. We told you that you may have your addiction back to that. So you need to get control of that because not not on the glass. You woke up in time, but you you still was slumped at the wheel. Yeah. And you're the same way I see you from whenever you were at the house on your medication. When you were hiding that the 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 subutex and all that in in your in your purses and all that. Where's your son at? Why were you always crying? But you this is your second the second run in I've had with you when you're you're, you're on your medication. I believe that you were not drinking, but I do believe that you are off. So much of your medication like you were last time. Because it's the same way, exact way you act. The exact same way. Maybe you had a little sip or two of that. Yeah, when we're standing here, you can smell a little bit coming off yeah. here. I smell like a fruity smell. I'm not sure. The fruity smell will be that. Well, I smell, yeah, I smell something. I understand I that. I can't even believe your word because last time, you know, you, you pulled a fast one on me at your house. When you had the sub, you text me, stuck it up and stuff and all that? I couldn't, yeah, I could, whoops. Wow, it makes a big difference. <laughs> I couldn't trust you then, so I definitely can't trust you now. Have you been to court yet for, for the, uh, for the child that was filed uh, against you? From Officer Alfred? No. No? Yeah, I got dropped. They got dropped? Okay. Do you mind shutting your car off and stepping out here? To talk to us. So you got spared the first door. You got spared that time, and now you back in trouble. Walk up to the front of the car there. Yeah, she's she's under something. <sighs> So you realize you can go to jail for a DUI under medication too, right? If it says you're not supposed to operate a motor vehicle, it means you're not supposed to operate a motor vehicle. Yes, sir. You call your husband, Santa? Yes, sir. Yes, Can you, can you follow me? Not a chance. You are not driving that car. I will take you to jail before I dare do that. That is the dumbest question you can ask me, us right now. So quit crying. So when you got out of your car, you stumbled. You stumbled up here. So at this point, there you go. I have I understand, but crying and all this other stuff is not doing any justice. 
Come back over here. I'm trying to show us that you can walk, but that's past the point. Yeah, it's already done. You've already showed us enough that you're abbreviated. Not too much. So she was found slumped over the steering wheel of the car. Up on top of the car is alcohol. She's claiming that she has diet, like her low blood sugar, and that's why everything. But so we need that checked out. So she's gonna go to the hospital. You just want a sugar check. What's that? So she's gonna go to the hospital, but she's in a sugar check essentially. Pretty much. We're confirming. Yeah. So. Where are you going? She is. So she's on a bunch of medications. She says Percocets and all sorts of different things. She mixed them all. Just stay up here. You are sitting here pouring in sweat. Pouring in sweat. You can see the sweat all over your chest. You can. So here's what's going to happen. Sweat on my chest. But, but at this point, you're driving under medications that you shouldn't be driving under, and mixed, mixed medications on top of it, with open alcohol in your vehicle. That is still cold. The straw still is liquid in it, and you were slumped over the wheel. So I'm giving you all the, all the basics of what's going on here. So you will you? Read the no, I refuse, and I will. Um, okay. Uh, uh, Turn it. I nope. gotta go. Wait, okay, okay, nope. I don't refuse. Okay, I don't nope. refuse. You, I don't refuse. You I had the option. I don't refuse. You refused. Are you kidding me? I don't refuse. You yeah. refused. I d I'm, please don't do that. I, I, I will. I will. No. Nope. No, you, you can't. We can't you do that. What you wanna. Now you lose your license because you refused. Now it's a one year automatic suspension from I the Department of Highway that. Safety and Motor Vehicles. I do not know and that. And you definitely have been drinking because I smell it now. And I had COVID. Now that you're away from the car, we can smell the alcohol. I had COVID. Now I can, I can smell it on your breath now. I did not know that it was it was me going to jail. But it doesn't so matter what it is. It was the same thing. We're not going to give you the what's going to happen so it makes you determine what you're going to do it's you answer the question but you know whatever you yeah, answer the question as oh yeah okay i will go to, i will go to the it's hospital too it's too late you're going to jail can i can no. you call my husband no nope. i'll get out of your stuff for you come on don't, don't you want a resisting don't charge can, don't, I please, don't do that. can i please call my husband you want a resisting charge that onto it so you can stay why, in there? Why can't I call my husband? Because I had surgery on this arm, sir. Please, please. It. Okay, so quit pulling away. Do you want a 43 or 83 real quick? Yeah, yeah. There's some gloves in the back. I thought you said it was here. Actually, here we go. Up against the car. Yeah. Now, I'm going to ask you this. Do you have anything on you? Because the last time I searched you, you had something inside of... No, leave it there. Leave Don't it there. touch. Leave it there. I'm talking about as far as in your, your private area, in your breast. No. Because no. last time, you know, no. you had it there. Keep your hands out of your pockets. So now that I've asked you that I clear that up, and you told me no. Say no again? No. Okay. Because last time you lied... Straw? Straw because I do I take Subutex and I do not like to swallow them. So that's a, I, that's a, I, I crush them. Nope, you can test it. It doesn't matter. That's classified as paraphernalia. You can test it. Quit. It's it's the only way I can take my Subutex. I'm pretty sure. That you can take it a whole lot more than that. Four four. No, you have to let it melt under your tongue, and I cannot. Can you show one whiskey fox truck? Please. Am I missing anything in your bra? No. Please let me You'll, change. Please no, let me no, change my mind. Not a chance. That's in, not how this he works. He is in Jacksonville. That there, is not how this works. No way. We gave you the opportunity to be honest and with I'm us. I'm so sorry. Nah, sorry does I'm not butt so it. I'm so sorry. Stay in looking at the car. Sorry does not butt it. so sorry. Just so you know, DUI has a I no will. bond. You do not get out of jail until you see the judge tomorrow. Your car is being towed at this point. 
please, if you don't, if you don't, please don't do this to me. You did this to yourself. I, I, will, I promise you, no. I will take. I will no. go take the. I'm blood not test. playing this game. I asked you. We, she asked you, and I asked you once. You decided your answer was I, I no. I didn't understand. I did not understand. I didn't understand that if I said no, that I would go to jail. No one. Do you have a driver's license? I do. Yeah, what does it say on the driver's license? Right. It says that if you refuse any test, it's an automatic suspension. No. It says it right on your driver's license. Yes, you did. Come on. Get in the car. Will you please grab... Get in the car. Can you grab my phone and my... We'll put your... I'll take your phone with you to the jail. Do you have preferred, um... My son has to be picked up for a morning. I just asked you that. So where... So who was the lady that was just here? That was the bank worker. Bank worker. So who's going to pick your son up since your husband's in Jacksonville? So that the coach and... Can you please call her back down here so I can explain to her what's happening? Does she work inside? Yes. What's her name? Brooklyn. Brooklyn. All right. Do you want me to take it or? We can read her that now. This one? Yep. Yeah. Do you still refuse to submit to a test? No, I do not. I'll, I'll go. So you're still going to jail no matter what, just so you know. Because you still refuse the first time. You refuse the first time. I, I, I didn't understand that if I refused that I was. You're still going to jail. Who is this? You're driving under, you're under the influence. She's going to come pick her up. So she's under arrest for driving under the influence. She had open alcohol in the vehicle, as well as she's been mixing with all of her medications. So, yeah, at this point she's under arrest. We're just trying to find someone to take care of her son. Oh, is it Clayton? Um, I can take him if Paul so I guess he's at baseball right now. If you want to talk to Officer Kelly about that, she's on the phone trying to figure that out right now. Am I able to talk to Andrew? Yeah, just talk to her real quick. We'll open up the door so you can talk to her. Oh. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Kelly. She said she'll pick him up. Well, they just the dad on the phone. Somebody on. Okay. Uh, there's consequences for actions in the state of Florida. You got a driver's license. That is not my problem. You already said you're gonna give a blood test. We're gonna go, but you're still going to jail for driving under this. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're going to do a blood test, but you're still going to jail. I do not understand. It doesn't matter if you understand or not. Are you an adult? I am, but I did not understand that if I didn't... Like, I don't... It's not about understanding. You were no, in the vehicle, slumped over with open alcohol inside the vehicle. You've taken multiple prescriptions that you're not even supposed to be operating a motor vehicle with. That is called polydrug use, alcohol and narcotics together. That is poly drug use. Did you see how much I drink of that alcohol? I'm not saying. Not very much. I'm not saying that's the only one. I'm just stating. So. I will definitely take. I will please. No, you're going to jail. They cut you a break last time they saw you. It's over for this time. The last time they saw me, they came to my house. The cops is going to my house. Okay, so the cops came to your house. Twenty-three on a mileage. Karen got busted for a trifecta of trouble, driving under the influence, playing hide-and-seek with an officer, legally known as resisting, and carrying her own DIY chemistry set which is her dirty little straw.